So in today's video, we will look at updating the BIOS image. In the last image video, update image video, we used a TFTP server from SolarWind, which was free, and we downloaded the image to our Windows host and then updated the image locally. In this one, we will do directly through the internet. Um, it requires that you type correctly Otherwise, it's going to keep rejecting. So go to the uh, URL that has the image, the latest one. And once you do that, <clears throat> you're going to go find this one, BIOS rolling latest. Double click on that, copy link location, go to your notepad and copy it so that you can read it <clears throat> when you're doing the update. Go to your VIOS, look at your show interfaces. We're gonna use Ethernet zero in this case, make sure there's no address on it. So machine settings, Ethernet zero is adapter one, make sure it's on NAT and it's cabled up. Once you do that, you configure the interface Ethernet 0 to get a DHCP address. And the way you do that is uh, configure set interface Ethernet Ethernet 0 address DHCP, commit. <clears throat> sometimes it'll get it right away. And sometimes you're going to have to reboot it. In this case, it got it. Verify that you can reach the internet. I'm assuming that you are Wi-Fi uh, the computer Wi-Fi that you're running virtual box on has internet connection. So it has IP connectivity to Google DNS. Let's also make sure that it can ping through the, uh, you know, through a DNS name and it can. So now we need to add system, add system image. Now you need the URL. So you have to type exactly what you copied. HTTPS downloads BIOS.io rolling current EMD64 BIOS rolling dash latest ISO. So it's going to start directly going to the website and downloading the image. It's going to take a minute or two depending on your Wi-Fi speed. Once it downloads, it will uh, tell you unable to, do you want to continue without signal check? Ignore the first message, it downloaded the whole thing. And it's not able to check the error, so don't worry about that. Just say yes, which is enter default. Just keep pressing enter now. Yes, current configuration, yes done so right now we have 1.3 now if we reboot it we'll come to 1.4 the one that we just downloaded you can see here that we got 1.4 and we were using 1.3 previously so let's press enter here Once it comes back up, you log in, and it's 1.4. You, you did not save your configuration from the DHCP, so it's back to your original one, and you have updated your image from 1.3 to 1.4.